Hi, preschool friends. Welcome to Concordia Preschool Chapel time. It's Pastor V. So glad you're here. I missed you last week. It was Easter week last week. I was really busy with all the celebrations, but I'm glad you're with me today. We're going to talk a little bit about Easter today. We're going to hear a couple of fun songs, and I have a little special gift for you to take home today. So why don't we open with a prayer? I'll play a little happy song for you, and then we'll talk a little bit about Easter and the things and the sights and the sounds of Easter. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for bringing us to chapel time together. Thank you for your promises to be with us. We thank you for keeping our families safe during this time of uh, uh, sheltering at home. Bless all those who take care of us and watch over us. Bless all the doctors and nurses, all the policemen and firefighters, and everyone who works so hard to keep us safe and healthy and protected. Bless our teachers as we're apart from them and keep them also safe in your care. In your name we pray, amen. Well, thanks for that. I have a happy song for you. This is Happy All the Time. preschool friends. That was happy all the time. I hope you're happy all the time. I hope you have things to do. I hope you're keeping busy. It's a little chilly out today. I wore a sweater. I'm a little cold. It's a little chilly out today. I hope where you are, you're keeping warm and safe. Well, I have a little Easter story to share with you. I brought some pictures and signs about Easter, and maybe you can uh, help me figure out what all these things have to do with Easter. So Easter happened, it's the story of, of how God saves us by sending Jesus. And so last week was Holy Week, and during Holy Week, there's a number of things that happened, and there were, there were things and events that remind us about what God did for us in Jesus. And so the first picture I have for you is a picture of bread, and I was wondering if you know what bread has to do with Holy Week. Well, if you remember, it was on Thursday night, the Thursday night that Jesus was betrayed, he met in the upper room with his disciples, and they had a meal. He took bread and he broke it, gave it to his disciples. He says, take, eat, this is my body. He took some wine, he gave it to them and said, take, drink, this is my blood, and he gave them what we now call is the Last Supper. After Jesus shared that meal with his disciples, he went out to the garden and he prayed. He says, Father, not my will, but thine be done. He was arrested and they took him away. That was Thursday. That's the bread. Here's another picture. This is a picture from Holy Week. It's a hammer and nails. Do you know, preschool friends, what the hammer and nails were for? Some of you I think I know. I think you know that on Friday, on Friday, they took Jesus and they hung him on a cross. Yeah, they took a hammer and nails, and there they nailed him, and there on the cross, Jesus died to forgive us. All that's wrong, all that's sick, and all that's broken in our lives, he dies to forgive our sins. And that was the sad part. If you remember the last chapel we had talked about being happy and sad, Jesus died on Friday. Here's another thing, another thing that reminds us of, of Holy Week and Easter. I know. And you know what that, anybody know what that is? It's a rock. Yeah, it's a rock. It's a rock, and it reminds us of the stone that they put in front of the tomb. After they took Jesus down off the cross, they laid his body in a tomb, and they rolled a big stone in front of it. That was Friday night. And he was in the tomb on Friday night, and he was in the tomb all day Saturday until Sunday the third day. Here's something, something really important that happened on Easter. How about this? Do you know what this is? That's right. It's an angel. It's an angel of the Lord. 
And when you read the Bible stories that talk about Easter, it says that morning, on the first day of the week, Jesus um, was in the tomb and an angel showed up and there was an earthquake. And it says that the angel rolled away the stone from the tomb. Can you see that big stone there? It's gone, and there sitting on the, on the stone is the angel that rolled the stone away. An angel. That's something that we saw on Easter. Here's something for you. How about this one? Let me know what this is. Yes, that's true. It is the number three, and three is a really important number on Easter. Because Jesus promised that on the third day he would rise. So he was in the tomb Friday. He was in the tomb Saturday. And then on Sunday, that's the, let me do this. I can't, can you do it here? Let me get my three up. There it is, the three. On the third day, Jesus rose. And the tomb was empty. Yeah, he's not here. He's risen. That's what it said. Yeah, he's not here. He rose. And so on Easter, we celebrate the fact that Jesus came alive again, and he lives. He went out of the tomb, and there he is. He appeared to his friend Mary, and she was so glad to see him, and they celebrated the fact that he is not here. He is risen. Jesus is alive. The celebration of Easter for us, brothers and sisters in Christ, is the fact that Jesus comes to take all that is bad, all that is hurt, and he dies to take that away. He rests in the tomb and he rises and he lives. There's new life because of Jesus, new life and love. And that's what we celebrate at Easter. I have an Easter song for you that talks about Jesus rising again. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. So I have a gift for you. Uh, attached to this video, somewhere on the link, if you look on the link that goes with this video, there should be a file attached. And on that file, you'll find a piece of paper that looks just like this. It's a, it looks like just like this. It has eight boxes on it, and it has a line. A line goes across and then three lines down. And what I want you to do is if your mom or dad or somebody at home who's helping you, caring for you, can print this out for you, you can make a little Easter book and tell the Easter story that I just told you uh, at home with this. And it has little pictures. You can color the little pictures in that go along with this. There's, uh, there's uh, a picture of Jesus and a cross, and there's the stone. There's the two Marys that were there and the angel. You could color the angel. And, uh, and there Jesus is risen. So once you print this, I'll show you how this works. What you do is you take this piece of paper and you fold it on this big long line. You fold it right in half. Then you have two halves of the story. It has four squares on this side. It has four squares on this side. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna take the middle line and you're gonna fold it right here on this middle line and it folds into a book kind of like that. You have the front and the back cover, and then you have this and this in the middle, the stone and Jesus. So what you're gonna do again is you're gonna take it on this line now, and you're gonna fold it in half one more time. So now you have a book like this. It looks like that on the front. It looks like black, blank on the back. And when you tell the story, you're gonna take the front of the, the story book like this. You're gonna open it like this all the way and it, the story of Easter goes like this. It says, Jesus died on the cross, and his friends were very sad. They put his body into the tomb, 
and there was a big heavy stone to block the door. Two women went to the, went to the tomb. They were both named Mary. And then suddenly the earth started shaking. An angel came down from heaven. And then you close the book. And then it says, the angel rolled the big heavy stone out of the way. He knew that the women were looking for Jesus. And the angel told them, he is not here. He is risen. Just as he said, Jesus is alive. And then there's the, the back of it and there's blank. Maybe you could draw a picture of a smiley face or some Easter flowers or an egg or something that reminds you of springtime and Easter and new life. So that's my gift to you. It should be attached somewhere in the link. Maybe you can find it and, we'll send, and then you can have that and you can tell the story at home, maybe to a brother or a sister, uh, your parents or grandma or grandma, grandma, grandpa, pop, pop, whoever's at your house. You can share that great story. We're gonna close with a prayer. I'll let you pray with me. Uh, so I'll pause between the lines and then I have one, just a, a, Bible, a farewell song for you, okay? And then we'll, we'll wrap up today. Let's pray. Dear God, Thank you so much for your love. Lord, thank you that you sent Jesus to take away all the things that are bad and sinful and broken in our world. We are sad that he died, but we are happy that he lives. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for springtime. Thank you for new life. In your name, amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Amen. We'll see you guys all next time. Show.